I'm here with Lilian Vicious, the product manager for Aries, the world's first compact XRD. So tell us, what is compact? Compact. It's uh, it's uh, yeah. It's uh, all the, the the form factor basically. It's an instrument uh, with with high performance. Uh, you can compare it with which much bigger laboratory tools and equipment. But mm -hmm. combining uh, those performances in a smaller footprint. So basically, uh, a compact instrument, lower power consumption, but still with high performance, uh, high versatility. And in case of Airways, yeah, we have also uh, built-in features like both analytical capabilities, but mm -hmm. also uh, the measurement uh, performance. And so you combine everything in one uh, one instrument so that's a new category why a new category compact um, well, you, you have, of course, uh, the, the larger uh, laboratory tools, which is maybe the, the, the standard in the, in the XRD industry, uh, specifically for high-end research. But yeah, those tools are, are expensive, they are big, uh, they, loot, they need a lot of uh, floor space. And uh, yeah, there was, of course, in, in all technology fields, a tendency to, to make uh, technology allows to, uh, to, to, to drive down uh, size. And that is basically what we have done with Airways, to, to take the high-end performance, but uh, make that in a very versatile uh, small package. So and it's and best, that is why compact, yeah. Best of both worlds, basically. Yeah, that is what we uh, aim to achieve, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you have like a customer case study that says, okay, this is where Aries performed really well? Well, yeah, how to say, you can use XOD technology in, in many different fields of application. Mm -hmm. So to give just one specific example, that's, that's difficult. But let me try to give you a few uh, uh, topics. Uh, we use the instrument in the, in, in, in the cement industry, where it is really useful uh, to have uh, yeah, on-the-spot, on-site uh, process uh, quality control for uh, new blended cements, which becomes a very uh, hot uh, topic for also for uh, uh, energy reduction and, and, and uh, yeah, the, 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 the new green uh, cements, they, they call them basically. The Airways is used, the XRD technology is used in, in, in the pharmaceutical world for, for yeah, medicine discovery and, and quality, quality control in, in, in medicine uh, manufacturing, but also in the research for all types of high-end uh, materials. And then you can think uh, of also a, a topic which is, of course, hot uh, battery materials to improve uh, batteries for, for cars and uh, to also enable the energy uh, transition. So it's a yeah. wide range of applications yeah. and it's ready for the future, basically. It helps you and your organization with today's challenge and it's future-proof, that's what you're saying. That is indeed, uh, yeah, we are oriented and, and, uh, and, and we contribute to all these uh, advanced researches in, in, in enabling, basically, the energy transition. But at the same time, I, yeah, I can also add the instrument is future-proof and that's maybe also in that compact uh, uh, size that you asked before. Mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, you, you can start, let's say, if you want, with, 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 with the basic instrument uh, for, 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 let's say, standard XRD powder diffraction. But the instrument has capabilities to be extended also later in a second phase to grow, let's say, with, with the experiences and with the analytical needs that our customers had. So you can also, in, 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 in a later stage, add new uh, and additional uh, measurement capabilities to the instrument. Yeah, so when is considering a compact like Aries the relevant question to ask if you're a, if you're a customer well, I think, uh, yeah, you can, I think, distinguish with what we could consider more regular standard benchtop uh, instruments that uh, can maybe do just one type of measurements, mm -hmm. and, and that is typically standard uh, powder diffraction. Well, the Airways comes with a fully equipped, uh, encoded uh, goniometer, which allows to do diff different types of, uh, of measurements, also, for example, uh, transmission measurements and uh, grazing incidence measurements, where you have you need an independent arm movement, and, and that is all uh, standard featured in, uh, in the Airways. So basically, you would have, I think, a choice between the very high-end research equipment, but that's also typically a question of budget and laboratory space, which yeah. is also expensive, and uh, on the lower end, uh, simpler tools that can only do one type of measurement, and yeah, we fit perfectly in between those worlds, and yeah, we allow our customers to be flexible with that, and I think that is when you choose Compact. Nice. And uh, on a personal note, what's your favorite feature about Aries? 
Well, I like uh, the versatility, but also uh, the fact, and I think that makes it also very unique, is that we have the capability of doing external sample loading. So basically, uh, we can allow all type of users to work with the instrument. Huh? The, 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 uh, how can I say, the, the student researcher that still needs to learn XOD, but also the very advanced user that uh, can uh, perform a lot more with the instrument. But that external sample loading basically uh, makes it very easy while you're already running a measurement you can set up the next measurement you don't need to interfere as a less experienced user with the optical part inside the instrument so yeah I think that is really what distinguishes Airways also from uh, from other instruments and it also prepares it if you want hey, you can have manual sample loading but such an external sample loading also uh, allows for automation so you can also integrate the instrument in automated lab flows and yeah that is something which you see more and more with robot integration in, in laboratoria etc. So, so true versatility basically. Yeah. True versatility. I think that is it. Yeah. Well thank you on this introduction on Aries. Welcome. Thank you.